out. Ah, I'm sorry, Cassie. <sighs> oh, shit. Ah, sorry, girl, you're on your own for this one. Gregory! I don't even think they can see him anyway. Huh? What are you doing here? Peeking around. What, am I not allowed to look around my own lair? I, I mean, I, I guess. So, I'm looking to get a little information out of you. Yeah, go ahead. Can't give you much anyway. I'm surprised I never spotted you. I learned bits and pieces of Gregory throughout my misadventures, but you were completely absent. It's like you didn't even exist. Yeah, well, I've been around, and I was hiding mostly in that bunker that you guys found Mimic in, so. How did you manage to get past the systems? Noise canceling. I created a small electromagnetic field around my body that allowed me to go past Mimic undetected. Wow, you're quite the smart one, aren't you? All part of my programming. <laughs> well, well, that's nice. So where have you been? The last mission, everyone said you were absent. Well, I've been doing a little bit of research. I'm noticing Mimic clearly wants to infiltrate the enemy defenses. Make them all vulnerable. Which is an admirable plan. If I could physically shapeshift, I'd do the same thing. Well... I guess I can a little bit. Then again, it's more layering shadows on top of each other. Well, this could be particularly useful one day. I heard Shadow Freddy was powerful. How much did you know about him? Oh, I knew lots and lots about him. He unleashed me, after all. I always existed as a force of nature. However... The nightmares he made. Well, I was his. And while the world soon forgot my story, it lived on inside my soul. And I aimed to peel away the pages, make everyone remember who they messed with. Because no living being can truly cheat death. That kind of thing would be ludicrous. If you're somehow able to avoid the condenses of death, then well, you simply weren't living in the first place. It's why glitch trap's gone, tempting to turn digital to be mortal. <laughs> That's something only a lonely living being can think of. Because why would a silly machine need to preserve itself? I think I got what I need. What? How? <laughs> One day you'll learn to walk with the shadows, Cassie. And when that day comes, you'll really understand how this silly little world works. Ah! Uh, what the hell? <sighs> Who the hell are you? Don't make an innocent child watch me tear you apart. I think you would have learned by now that that child is far from innocent. Especially after what she did to me. Oh, Mimic. That's you under there, isn't it? Hmm, good to know you honed those abilities. I've learned much of what I am capable of. Really? That makes it sound like you failed. Becoming educated on your own limits is not the same as failing. <laughs> Cassie, what was that behind you? Huh? Behind me? A wall? Very funny. Perhaps it's my anxiety getting to me. Anxiety? What went wrong? Digital data and records are not sufficient enough for me to completely mimic one individual. I attempted to infiltrate the enemy's defenses and learn more about Glamrock Freddy. Through a relative or someone Glamrock Bonnie had known in his past. However, there were things that perplexed him about my appearance. Namely, I was unaware of his brother, which obviously would not be mentioned in any physical records, at least once tied to a mafia crime boss. Hmm, interesting. So, what's your next course of action? I require bio data, and I must develop the tech. Biodata? 
So you're going to take a cell sample from your victims and use that to mimic them instead? Precisely. It honestly may seem like an offshoot. However, that actually gets me a step closer to my ultimate goal. That being? To become the most powerful thing in the universe. If I can eliminate all acts of chaos, I can restore order. So what happens when it's just you left? Then I will exterminate myself. Well, I hope you stick to your words, pal. Nightmare. I require you for a mission. The last time I called the three of you, you were mysteriously absent. I would like you to participate this time. You cheeky bastard. Do not think that simply because you are on my side, that makes you immune to my... design. I hope that means you're staying. Sure. I want to see me. Oh? Turn into me. I want to see how close you get. Gladly. Does this suffice? Your desires? It really is like staring into a mirror. <laughs> I'm even handsomer than I thought I was. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> What the hell are you two doing? Okay, Nightmare, would you stop playing with yourself and let's just get down to business? Oh, I should kill you for that one. Nightmare, please, let me be. I'm going to need the three of you to embark on a small mission for me. I require biodata in order to hone my abilities. You three are the masters of manipulation. I feel you will be sufficient to the task. And if not? I will see fit as to your punishment. Punishment? How the hell are you going to punish the three of us? Yeah, Mimic, I think you're overstepping your authority a little bit here. Yeah, just who the hell do you think you are? I am the Mimic. But if I so choose to... I could be all three of you. What the? How did you... You're not immune. I told him about all of this. But when? How? There's no way you can just do it on the fly. I can't. I require lots of data about the individual first to mimic them. It's not a perfect mimic, but it's close. Close enough to fool the naked eye. When did you find the time? When you were all sleeping. Yeah, like that isn't freaking creepy. I don't sleep. How could you have found the time for me? Perhaps I found it in the light that you shadows fear so much. <laughs> You're good. Are we really sure we should have trusted this guy? Hate to say it, Eclipse. I think it's a little too late to go back. <laughs> I would advise you listen to your friend. You sick bastard! Don't shoot a messenger. And besides, if you all comply, then none of this will be to your disadvantage. It will only be prosperous for all of you. You are all free to do as you wish, within my parameters. So what do you want us to do? Break him down. Break Glamrock Freddy down. Find out anything you can about him. And as well, I require a DNA sample. However, I recommend you do this stealthily. I know you all love large egotism, and love to show off. However, I think you should stick to the shadows, as Nightmare would say it. I would rather we not be found out. Glitchtrap's ego got him found. I will not make that same mistake. Alright, let's just, let's just go. Hope we formulate a plan on the road. Mimic. Yes, Eclipse. I hate to keep you too long. Your friends need you. How much do you know? As much as I need to. It doesn't really help! Get going, child. I have work to do. Oh, when I get my powers back.
9,999 years and counting, Mimic. And counting. No. Cassie. You're extraordinary, you know that. How so? I don't think I've ever seen someone boss their goons around like such a douche as you. <laughs> Cassie. 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 I understand you are young. You have not learned all this world has to offer. But to survive, you must be at the top of your food chain. It's simply evolution. And I have chosen survival. Hey, uh, does anybody want to go to the park? Oh, me, me, I want walkies, I want walkies! <laughs> Great, Monty's got the zoomies again. I, I don't know what the zoomies are, but, uh, yeah, whatever, sure. I'll go too, why not? I need some fresh air. Uh, what about the two of you? You guys want to come with? <laughs> um, nah, I I'm okay. I'll stay here. Yeah, I, I can stay too. Oh, you two are sure, right? Yeah, I'm just not really feeling it today. Same. I just want to relax. All right, well, uh, don't have too much fun without us while we're gone. Yeah, what she said. Uh, bye. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you want to play a video game? Uh, sure. I can go grab the Nintendo Switch. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right. Ooh, uh, thanks. Nice catch. All right, we could play Mario Kart, Smash Bros. Mario Party. Good, he's alone. We picked a good day for this. We've got everything in order, right? You're the only one that technically had to have something else. Hey, I was just making sure. Good thing entered leave these illusion discs lying around like candy. All right. Let's hope this works. Hey, you said it yourself. You're only severely weak and not totally reprimanded. We're gonna test that. Right on the spinal cord. This is for punching me in the face. Well, that worked. Hey, I mean, you hit two birds with one stone. We were gonna have to knock her out anyway. He was just top priority. I want her as a point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, they seem knocked out enough. You guys are sure this is gonna work, right? With the little remnant I've reservoired, this illusion disc will both manipulate his brain and collect as much data as it needs. But when it's under intense stress, it will record data. And that's where Nightmare comes in. Once we enter his mind, it's going to take some time to find him. We're invaders, after all. And especially unidentified ones. It'll push us as far to the reaches of his consciousness can. He's never met or seen us before. But once we find him, we'll be golden. And besides, collecting as much visual data as we can will still help the mimic in his plan. You did knock him out with your total paralysis, right? Yeah, should be. He is out cold. I'll take your word for it. All right, everyone get together. Wait, what if the others get back? You know, before we're done. They won't. And Eleanor, I know you took those precautions. We'll be placed in a cloaking mode. It should buy us enough time to get out of there. <sighs> if you say so. What happened? Huh. Where am I? Freddy! Freddy! Oh, Chica! Are you alright? Where are we? I don't know. This is weird. I know. I almost feel like I'm... I'm dreaming. Yeah. Me too. What happened? Oh, right! I could sense something. I think there was a beam behind us, and it knocked the both of us out. I tried to block it from you, but I think I got us both knocked out in the process. Oh, well, hey, it's all right. You tried your best. Besides, I think we're fine. Do you think somebody attacked us? It's possible. Great, of course, when the others aren't home. What are we going to do? Well, if we're both in a dream, I don't think we're waking up anytime soon. Usually when you kind of realize that it doesn't take long for it to kick in. Yeah, I've had that kind of thing happen before. 
We're just gonna have to find a way to wake ourselves up. Yeah. Hey, do, do you hear that? Is that children laughing? Yeah, I think it is. Whoa. It's a bunch of kids. Hey, wait. Don't some of those people look familiar? Yeah. Hey, guys, I gotta spin! <laughs> Bonnie! <laughs> I can't believe you fell over like that, dude. Bonnie, you gotta spin better than that, man. You gotta do like this. Yeah, like that. Guys, lay down for a second. You're not any better at spinning than I am. Guys, guys, I can teach you how to spin. Really? Yeah, look. Woohoo! It's not too hard. Oh, you're really good at that. Recess ends in 15 minutes, kids. Yes, yes Mrs. Elevani. Okay. You know, call it a hunch. I think this might be an elementary school. In your dream? Huh. Well, let's go check it out. Wait, Freddy, don't you think just walking up to an elementary school playground is a little weird? Look, if this is a dream, we can bend the laws of reality if we want. You know, if someone punches us or hurts us, then who cares? We'll just wake up. We're trying to do that anyway. <sighs> yeah, okay. I still feel a little weird about this. <sighs> you got any other bright ideas? We could go speak to the teacher. Uh, actually, that's probably a better idea. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, ma'am? Uh, hello? Oh, goodness. I didn't see you there. Hi. Yeah, hey. Mm, uh, ma'am, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, well, we're just here, uh, inspecting the area. Uh, we were wondering if we could help out with recess today? I don't know why you're saying we, but, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, the kids would love a playmate. I'm sure you could play a game or two with them. What? Uh, okay, thanks. You're welcome. That's weird. Can she not see me? I don't think so. Let's get out of here before I look like I'm crazy. Yeah. Maybe this is your dream, then, if they can't hear you? That doesn't make a lot of sense. How did you end up in it, then? This is weird. Yeah. I mean, I guess it would make sense. Normally, you're an outsider in your own dreams anyway. <laughs> you're never gonna catch me, Foxy! Oh, yeah, I will! <sighs> I didn't like that. Okay, so safe to say they can't see or feel you. That's so bizarre. All right, well, let's just ask around. I'll ask around. Let's go over to that group of kids. They look smart. Uh, sure. Hi, kids. Are you enjoying your recess? Oh! <laughs> Uh, Miranda? Huh? Oh! Um, hey. Who are you? Yeah, you're really weird. Huh? What? Why am I weird? Uh, what's wrong? First of all, say who you are, because you're kind of getting confused with me right now. What? Freddy, what are they talking about? I, I, I don't know. Uh, oh god, you can hear the voices too? Oh, right, I forgot they can't see you. Um, <gasps> We found a fellow crazy! Has she really gone off the deep end? Ugh. We got those stupid earrings, too. It says a lot what a girl can do in 15 minutes nowadays. What are you talking about? I don't know, Miranda. She looks older. Can somebody explain to me what's going on? First of all, tell us who you are. I'm Miss Glamrock Chica. I'm here helping you guys just to see if you, you know, need any playmates or a game mate or whatever. I just asked by the teacher. Whoa. What the hell? You don't, you don't look like Glamrock Chica. What? What are you talking about? We told you to get lost like four minutes ago. You look older. What happened? Wait, Chica, did... Did you... Did you go to this elementary school? I... I think I might have. Wait, what if this is Chica's older sister? And she's come to beat us up? No, uh, listen. Uh, your sister's just stupid and weird. and We just didn't want her annoying us so much. What? Uh-oh, I think they've mistaken you for a sibling. Uh, what do we do? Listen, I'm not trying to hurt you guys. Uh, we gotta get the biggest kid on the playground! I, I got it! Uh, I'll, 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 I got it! I'll go, I'll go, go, go get Coils! Yeah. What? Coils? Who the hell's Coils? Coils! Coils! Uh, uh, hey, Happy Frog, what's going on? You need your brother! Huh? Uh, what's up? <laughs> Claremont Chica's sister's gonna hurt us! Huh? She has a sister? Weird. Well, if she's really threatening you guys, and I got this. Thank you. Why don't we just get the teacher? Are you kidding? If the teacher finds out we've been messing with our stupid younger sister, then, then, oh god, we're all in big trouble. Yeah, I guess. 
Well, you guys will be in trouble. The rest of us didn't really do anything. You don't really be friends with her anyway. Well, I guess that's true. Hey! She can move either way, it's coiled. Huh? Listen, lady, you may be trying to pick on innocent little seven-year-olds, but I'll let you know I'm eight years old, so that means I'm more mature than them. I don't know what grade you are if you're in, like, ninth grade, but I'm gonna kick your butt. Is that Ennard? I think it might be. He looks different. Yeah. All right, you ready to fight? Ugh. Ow! Ugh. Whoa, God, the springy hands. Ooh! <laughs> First punch. I'm not one to hit a lady, but if they're trying to pick on my friends, then I will. Pick on someone your own size, like me. I'm not trying to pick on anybody. <gasps> oh, Chica, maybe you should lose this fight, because then maybe we'll wake up. But if this is your dream, then why is me getting knocked out going to wake you up? Well, at least you can go get help. Who are you talking to? Oh, my God. Okay, maybe instead of just being confused, I should just try reasoning with them. Listen, Coils, you seem like a nice kid. Whoa! Whoa. Nice kid? What's that supposed to mean? What else is it supposed to mean besides you being a nice kid? You're confusing me, and I don't like that. Fight, 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 fight! I am! Yeah! Your brother better win this fight. I'm gonna bet two lunches on him. Two lunches? Oh, God, this is a big stakes fight. I just want to talk to my sister. Oh, I'm here to pick her up. She called in from the nurse's office. Joke's on you, lady. We don't have a nurse's office. Why didn't we have a nurse's office? How come I don't remember most of this? We should get the teacher. I gotta get out of this fight first, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy, is he talking to one of you guys? Are you conspiring with her? Huh? No, I don't think so. I don't remember doing any of that. Whatever. Listen, kid, I just don't want to hurt you. Oh, sure. Are you scared of me? I mean, maybe I am a little bit with your arms, your really weird long arms. You're just like your stupid sister. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Coil. Oh. Sister's always gonna point out the obvious. So nobody likes her. Get him. Get him. Coil, stop! Make me! <laughs> Coils, that's enough! <laughs> what are you doing to this poor young woman? She started it! <laughs> <sighs> Ma'am, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, now that I'm getting a better look at you, are you related to one of my students? Yeah, I'm... I'm... Glamrock Chica's sister. I just wanted to see her. She wasn't having a good day. That's terrible. I don't know how you got in contact with her, but whatever. Um, feel free to roam around the playground and look for her. I don't know where she is, actually. Thank you. You kids break this fight up now, or else I'm going to have to call your parents. Ah. <laughs> Grandma can't find out I've been in another fight. Coils. You may look as you like, dear, and please get me if anything else happens. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Ugh. All right, let's keep looking. Maybe they're back this way. Yeah. Oh, God, she's so weird. Maybe she'll get removed from the school after this. Um, I don't know, Freddy. <laughs> You're crying. Crying? Where? This way. Hey, hey, Chica. I'm, uh, here to take you home. This is some kind of trick. Are you like Miranda wearing someone else's clothes? I've been an only child my whole life. Are you like my sister? Uh, yeah, sure. We can go with that. Oh, that's cool. Hey, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I am, mister. Wait, so she can see you. Why is she the only one that can see you? What are you talking about? Is this your boyfriend? Oh, ew, what? God, ew, no, ew, no, no, ew, no, no, God, uh, ew. no, God, no. We're just friends. Yeah, just friends. That's all it is. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, do, do you want to go back to your house? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Something's not right here. Why? I don't know. Something just feels off. Well, do you not want to take her back to her house? Like, we should, but. I don't know. Well, you keep that suspicion elsewhere. Come on, honey, let's go. <sighs> this can't be my dream. This 
should be up here. Chica, honey, what are you doing home from school so early? Mama! <laughs> Sweetie, what's wrong? The other kids are being mean to me again today. Honey, what happened this time? I don't know. I didn't even say anything. I just... <laughs> no, like they get mad when I talk about them, but this time I didn't even say anything. Some kids just don't get the things you think, honey. But why? I don't know. I don't know. Hi. Um. Who are you two? Oh, uh, we're, um... We're from the Parent Teacher Association. Just wanted to give your child a way home. Oh, well, that's good. Thank you both. You know, you look a lot like me and my daughter. Are we related? Um, could be, I guess. I finally get it now. Get, get what? This isn't just any ordinary dream. This is memories. And they're not my memories. They're yours. <laughs> what makes make you say that? Chica. I... I don't get it. Have you... Have you been hiding this from me? Maybe. A little bit. <laughs> Mommy? Why is she crying? Sweetie, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It's just, it's really bright out here. <laughs> Do you need a hug? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Listen, I, I don't know. Weird stuff happens around here all the time. I'd love to keep my daughter, you know, naive from it all, but one day she's gonna have to learn. I don't know what you are, but for some reason you hug just like my daughter. Are you her? Baby. Oh, sweetie. Look at me. Oh, sweetie. You're so beautiful. going on, but maybe you should go. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Come on, Chica. <laughs> Thank you again. Come on, sweetie. Do you want me to make you dino nuggets? <gasps> Yay! Dino nuggets! Chica? Yeah? have to talk about it if you don't want to, but I, I I don't know a lot about you guys, really. I know how we met, and I know that's about it, really, before. I love you guys, and I know you don't hide anything from me, but we've never really talked about our lives before, Glitchtrap. Clearly something's troubling you about your mom. What happened? About five years ago, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. She died about two years later. I'm... I'm sorry. It's okay. I was a big girl, but I never really made any friends. Not until I met you guys. And... And it, it hurt, you know? 
I didn't really have anywhere else to go. And then he found me. he said to me very clearly time don't we all want more time he was a good negotiator I'll give him that I really didn't have anywhere else to go I thought mama would be proud I was moving on as growing up I didn't need her anymore but she knew the things I did. She'd hate me. Chica, that's not true. Your mother loves you. In that memory, dream, whatever. She didn't know how the hell you got there. What the hell you were doing there if you were some clone nightmare. You, you were still loved. Your mom still hugged you in your time of need. If that's not love, I don't know what is. <sighs> you want me to tell you the truth? What is it? I never knew my parents. It was just me and my brother, pretty much all my life. And then one day, Glitchtrap found me. He brought me years into the future. And that's how I met you guys. I can't imagine what it feels like to lose a parent, especially because I've never had one. Well, I never got to experience the love either. I'll never have to feel that loss, which is bittersweet. I can't imagine never having Mama. Yeah, but she'd be so proud of you. In spite of all, you made friends. In spite of all, you made it through it, and you're working to make it right every day. She will always love you. That's what a parent is supposed to do, right? dream. I don't know. Hey, where'd they go? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Get off me! <laughs> uh, shit, I can't use my powers! Oh no! Whatever. I don't know what's going on, but they'll wake us up, I know it! Freddy! Look! It's you. Not that! Okay, boys, I think our little games come to a close. Who are you? Surround them. <laughs> Is this what would have happened? It happened to me? Hey, bucko, that's not important. Who the hell are you? What are you doing in Chica's dream? That's exactly what we want to know, too. Uh, I knew I should have... Uh, this is just great. This is just great. I knew I should have double-checked. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you schmucks. Shut up, Eclipse. Clearly, his paralysis spell must have hit Chica instead of you. That's what that blast was. It was you. Yeah, no shit, it was me. Eclipse.
lips. Who are these people? They're my little gang. Well, maybe not my gang, but they're still part of my team. I knew you'd be back. What do you want? You trying to get your powers back? You're trying to use this to take mine? Well, guess what? Chica protected me, and now you're stuck in her dream. He's kind of got it. Even if you were right, why would we tell you? But oh, it's resisting. Every bone in my body did not beat you to a little pulp. You can't use your powers in this dream world. We're on even playing field. Listen, listen, listen. We sort of tried to invade your mind to find some personal information. However, I presume we invited the wrong persons. Does that mean the illusion just collected all of Chica's memories? I'm afraid so. We're gonna have to start again. Uh, this was our one chance! You just had to ruin everything! Hey! Leave her alone! Or what, Teddy? <laughs> oh, great. <clears throat> Listen, bud. We're all on even terms in the dream world. You got lucky. Now stay put! Or I'll have your weird broken illusion tear you to pieces. You ever get a migraine when you wake up? You're gonna get that. It's not gonna be pretty. Oh, oh my rage levels. It was at like a nine before, and it might be at a 12 now. Please hold it together. <laughs> Listen, we have the spell to wake you up, to end this nightmare. However, we want something in return from the two of you. What is it? Well, Freddy, we need something from you. We need you to open your mind, release all your mysteries to us, and then we'll let you go. What, are you trying to possess me or something? No, none of that. No strings attached. Thank you, promise. All we need you to do is let us just take a look, and then we'll have everything we need. There's gotta be a catch, right? Yeah, there's no way that that's it. Oh, but it is. And as much as I'm sure Eclipse would like it to be more than that, that's all it is. No, that's really it. And I'm sure as much as Eclipse would like it to be more than that, that's all it is. We just need to look, take some notes, and then we'll let you go. It's like none of this will have ever happened. And you'll forget all about this. Or what? We're stuck here forever? Well, we could simply manipulate your dream and break you down mentally from the inside, forever scarring your brains and your mental states. And you may go a little crazy. Kind of like me. As much as I would prefer to not resort to that, that would take years. We can, technically. I'll do it. What?! If it means keeping us safe. Freddy, look, I jumped in front of that blast to protect you. Yeah? And for what? Chica, no offense, but I'm one of the most powerful people on this planet. Why do you need to protect me? Because you are valuable. I don't want to see you get hurt in any way. What? Why? But I I'm so much more powerful than you. I'm not trying to demean your existence, but... I should be the one protecting you, and that's what I'm trying to do. Why should you bother protecting me? What am I to you? I'm not important. I'm just, I'm just another person. You're the most powerful being on the planet. I can't let something bad happen to you, not even for a second. You need to save people. I don't do that. I had my chance to with my Keeper of Time powers, but those are gone. You're all this world has left. And I'll try my damnedest to get you out of here. But if it means I have to spend an eternity with these schmucks, I'll, I'll do it. Chica, you are worth so much more than that to me. To everyone. I am not going to let you do that. Why? Because you're my family. And family sticks together.
Are you sure? You don't even have to ask me that. Okay. Thank you. Please don't make me regret this. I won't. Good! So we're ready for the brain surgery. What do you need me to do? Let's lay down. Once you submit, the remnant will redirect itself, and the illusion disc will be copying your mind. What is this for? Oh, you'll forget all this happened after. So, I guess you won't need to know. Just close your eyes. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, my sweet Fazbear. When you wake. When you wake. Oh, when you wake. All your dreams. He's awake! I think Chica's up too! <sighs> what happened? I don't... I don't know. What the hell happened to the two of you while we were gone? We came back and the two of you were knocked out on the ground! And you were crying! I... I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Chica? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But... Weirdly enough, I... I feel like a weird... Huge metal weight was just... Was just lifted off my shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I don't know what happened, but... It was... It was nice. Yeah. Ugh, well that's a relief. I thought you two had just a really intense session of Mario Kart and then you bumped heads and then all of a sudden your faces just started leaking. Is that how crying works? Unless they got like sand in their eyes. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am now. And you? Mm -hmm. Alright, who wants to order dinner? I'm starving. Oh, me, 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 me! What do you want, Chica? You always get pizza. Hey, I mean, I'm okay with it. <sighs> oh, fine. It's done. Mimic, why do you make me watch all of this? Why do you keep me chained up? Why do you do all of this in front of me? Once this technology is uploaded to my network, I will be able to successfully copy biodata, and it will create the perfect mimic. A one-to-one -one replica. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. I don't think you realize what you've done. You've angered me in a very particular way. Not in a way that makes me fear you. Or makes me want to kill you. But one that wants to keep you here. Watching. Waiting. So that when I burn this planet down, you and I are the last things left on it. And you will bear witness to my prosperous, perfect world. One that discards all evil. And lives by my code. And the last remnants of this old world will be us. And when we go off in a fiery blaze, the last thing you will think about is me. Well, that appears to have shut you up. I won't make you bear the downward process. 
But just know this. I've won. And you've lost. Cassie! Cassie! Are, are you okay? Cassie, I, I, I know that was a lot, but y you don't have to be- <laughs> Cassie, what are you- that in me. Cassie, are you? Yeah, I, I think I'm fine. I'm, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? This is, this is great. Why? But you got so upset. The Mimic's gonna know this and he's gonna come for you. No, he's not. Because I'm gonna stop this. Cassie, what's your plan? I don't want to see you do this until I know what's going on. I know what his weakness is. What is it? How? He can be anybody. It's intimidation. It's his whole shtick. He appears bigger than you. He tries to belittle you. Because he has nothing. All he can do is just base himself off of other people. The Mimic isn't strong on his own. He relies on others. Until you can make him feel that he's small, he will overpower you. I got that by his conversation about Bonnie, or Glamrock Bonnie. There's no way that he would have run away unless they were on to him. It means he was intimidated. He was scared. But what are we going to do? We're just a bunch of kids. <sighs> That's why I'm going to grow up. What? It's like he said, Gregory. It's just evolution. Cassie? Cassie, wait! Greg, it's me.